In this video, we are going to discuss about velocity tangus diagram for Pelton wheel of impulse turbine and we will formulate work done and efficiency of Pelton wheel turbine. The rotor of Pelton wheel turbine consists of large circular wheel driven by jet of water being discharged from nozzle. The nozzle is mounted in such a way that it directs the jet of fluid along a tangent to circle through the centers of buckets. At the center of each bucket, there is splitter ridge which divides the jet into two equal streams which glides over inner surface of bucket and leaves the bucket at outer edge with relative velocity opposite in direction to the original jet. Here inlet velocity triangle is drawn at splitter and outer velocity triangle is drawn at outer edge of bucket. Inlet and outlet velocity triangles of Pelton wheel are shown here where V1 is the velocity of jet at inlet and we have the formula for velocity of jet at inlet which is equals to under root of 2gh where capital H is the net head. Now we have tangential velocity u which is equal to u1 which is also equal to u2 which is also equal to pi dn by 60. This tangential velocity u is equal to u1 is equal to u2 is nothing but the velocities of bucket at inlet and outlet so buckets will always move with the same velocity hence here u is equal to u1 is equal to u2. In Pelton wheel turbine the water will strike exactly at center of each bucket hence velocity triangle at inlet of Pelton wheel will be a straight line. Hence vane angle and guide blade angle at inlet will be zero. Now from this diagram we observe that relative velocity at inlet that is vr1 is equal to absolute velocity v1 minus bucket velocity u1 and we already told u1 is equal to u because buckets always move with the same velocity and also if you observe the figure vw1 is equal to v1. Now we will move to velocity triangle at outlet. Here if you observe to velocity triangle at outlet you can see vr2 is the relative velocity at outlet which is equals to vr1 that is relative velocity at inlet because relative velocity is the difference between velocity of jet and bucket velocity and here velocity of jet at inlet is equal to outlet that is v1 is equal to v2 and we know that bucket velocity u from inlet and outlet is same that is u1 is equal to u2 is equal to u hence vr2 is equal to vr1. Now phi is the angle made by vr2 with the direction of motion of bucket at outlet. So from this right angle triangle we write cos phi is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse. Here VW2 is the velocity of wheel at outlet. So adjacent side is U2 plus VW2 upon hypotenuse that is VR2. So from here we shall write for VW2. Therefore VW2 is equal to VR2 cos phi minus U2. We keep this value aside so that we can use it for work done. Now let's calculate force exerted by jet of water in direction of motion is given as fx is equal to rho a v1 into vw1 plus vw2. Here a stands for area of jet of water which is equal to pi by 4 d square. Here d is the diameter of jet. Now let's calculate work done by the jet of water and work done formula is fx into u. From equation 2 I will put fx and I will name this as equation number 3. Now to calculate power given to runner by the jet of water is given by work done per second. So from equation 3 I will put work done value and dividing by 1000 I will get power in kilowatt. If I divide work done by weight of water striking per second where weight of water is rho a v1 into g here rho a v1 rho a v1 get cancelled. So this will get work done per unit weight of water striking per second. This is our equation number 5. Now next let's calculate hydraulic efficiency of Pelton wheel turbine. So the formula is work done per second divided by kinetic energy of jet. We already calculate work done per second in equation number 3 and the formula for kinetic energy of jet of water per second is equal to 1 by 2 rho a v1 into v1 square. Now we can just simplify this rho a v1 rho a v1 get cancelled. This is our formula for hydraulic efficiency of Pelton wheel turbine. Let's take this as equation number 6. 
Now further, if you observe velocity triangle at inlet, we have Vw1 is equal to V1. And we also have relative velocity at inlet, Vr1 is given by formula V1 minus U1. But we already know U1 is equal to U2 is equal to U. So this will V1 minus U. And in beginning, we already seen that Vr1 and Vr2 is equal. So from here, we can write Vr2 also equal to V1 minus U. Now we will substitute the values of Vw2 and Vw1 in equation number 6. And after simplifying, we got hydraulic efficiency eta h. I will name this as equation number 7. Here we can also calculate condition for maximum hydraulic efficiency by just differentiating hydraulic efficiency eta h with u and equate to 0. After differentiation, we can get u is equal to v1 by 2. Further, you can substitute this u in equation number 7. And by simplifying, we got maximum hydraulic efficiency. Here u is equal to v1 by 2. This simply means that when velocity of plate is half of velocity of jet, then hydraulic efficiency will be maximum.